Good morning. My name is Andrew McGee and today I'm out into my vegetable garden. It's April, middle of April, and it's been cold. Uh, and I'm going to try and plant some peas in a raised bed. Uh, I dug, I say I dug this, I, I broad forked this bed about a week and a half ago and put some peas in down this row here which are just beginning to emerge. They're um, popping up and now I'm going to plant some more beside it. Some more, another row of peas beside this first row and to do that I'm just breaking the surface here of the soil and loosening it up with an earth rake. So I'm raking here to uh, a break the surface of the soil so it's nice and soft and b to get a nice seed bed to put my peas in. This is an earth rake as opposed to a grass rake. Looking good. Uh, we're going to be planting peas. They look like this. Some people inoculate their peas. I'm not quite sure what it does. It, apparently it ensures better germination, but I'm not going to do that this year. I'm just going to put them straight in the ground. I plant them quite close, inch, inch and a half apart. We'll put them down this row. And after we've finished planting these, I'll uh, tell you about my raised beds and why I do raised beds. So I use the double finger technique. It gets them all. Some people plant peas an inch apart, some people do two inches apart. I guess this is around an inch and a half. So uh, as you can see, I'm putting my fingers in the ground at about I don't know, half an inch to three quarters of an inch, not a full inch. And uh, what I'm doing is making these little holes and I'm going to drop a pea in each hole. And these are snap peas. So they're the sort of peas that they're kind of sweet and you eat the whole shell, you eat the shell and the inner seed and everything. Good in salads, good for stir fries. Very, as I say, sweet. And you don't have to shell peas, which is just such a painful thing to have to do. So we grow a lot of snap peas and some shell peas, but generally mostly snap peas. I've got, this is my third row going in this year. I did uh, a row last week, which I've just watered here. And a row a week before, which is over here, and they're just beginning to show. But as I say, it's been a cold spring compared to uh, 2012. 2012 was very warm. Um, and very little snow is in New England here. Whereas this year we've had a lot of snow and the air temperature has been cold. It's good to be out in the open air again, having been stuck indoors all winter. So here we go. Peas in the hole. My wife Amanda and I have a vegetable garden that's uh, two plots, about 60 feet long, by about 28 feet wide each plot, and we grow potatoes and tomatoes and uh, peas and beans and lots of root vegetables, which we have some success with. Squash, we do a lot of squash, a lot of cucumbers. Uh, diff you know, the straight ones and the pickling ones. So how deep are you putting the uh, peas in here and how long before they show? Well, I'm putting them in about three quarters of an inch. Some of them are a little deeper, some of them are a little shallower. It's not super consistent. I'm only human after all. <laughs> um, and 
I've watered them after I've planted them and I try and remember to water them during the week if it's been dry and it's been cold they don't they they don't germinate when it's too cold if the soil's too cold um, but it, so it has been cold but they are beginning to show in a minute I'll find you one that's popping through that I planted a couple of weeks ago and we'll see if they uh, if, if they're show, if, uh, you know I'll see what they show you what they look like rather we're just back raking these peas to uh, cover them up Nick was just saying he did it by hand but uh, I do it with the back of the rake I don't know if that's lazy or not have you no that's true uh. yeah I want to show Doug Doug the cameraman my strawberries now we can wander over now that we've done my peas so there we go one row of peas let's see if I can find you some that came up here's one Douglas this is a pea this is a pea I planted two weeks ago and as you can see it's up about a quarter of an inch one centimeter here's another one uh, here's another one so they're slowly popping up that one there's one pushing through there there's one here here this one that's bent over it's just pushing up through the soil more so you can see with after two weeks we've suddenly got peas you can see where the cat's been look rotten cats they'll uh, like it when I make the soil all soft more peas here look so it's very exciting it's really good after the winter to see things growing again what I'm going to do next is get some of these um, stakes uh, these are what I call tongue depressors they look like the, the, well, the thing the doctor sticks in your throat and I write on here snap peas April the 6th those were planted on so those, that, that row there was planted on April the 6th I'll go and get some more stakes and I'll put in a, a stake for this row and a stake for that row so we're going to have lots of peas this year exciting It is quite chilly still, even though it's uh, sunny. Yeah, it's cold. I think it's probably about 38 or 40 degrees if, at the very most. So here's a bucket of water, or watering can rather. And I'm just going to water along here. Aren't you afraid of it freezing? The peas? They, they say you can plant peas in New England on St. Patrick's Day. So, obviously that's March 17th, the day after my birthday and um, there are, there's lots of frost, there's often snow on the ground on St. Patrick's Day which stops you from, uh, from planting your peas but if there's no snow on the ground they say you can plant them I've tried planting them super early, I find they just don't germinate um, they sit in the ground until it warms up a bit and then they germinate I don't think it does any harm I think uh, it's probably one of those old wives tales that they planted peas in, on, on St. Patrick's Day and they, uh, I don't know, maybe they have peas for the spring lamb at Easter or something. I think that's a, we'd need some very nice warm weather for that to happen.